in the room today. Thanks to all of you for taking on this challenge. I should say actually 20 challenges. I think it's the number of challenges that NASA has thrown at you to try to, to solve in the next 72 hours. We're thrilled to sort of be on this journey. With Very exciting and international event. I would also like to thank all the staff and volunteers, all the mentors who will be here with us, who came from near and far, all the students that came from all around Morocco to be here with us. This is really a great opportunity for us, for you to learn, to uh, seek new opportunities, and to meet new people. So I'm Deborah, and last year, at my facility in Huntsville, Alabama, we held the headquarters for the World Hackathon. Were any of you in the last year's hackathon? Nobody? Okay, great. You are in for a wonderful treat. Let me tell you, this is important to your future. After the hackathon last year, three new entrepreneurial startups are now in incubation and have received small funding to continue developing the ideas that they worked on during the hackathon. So, made up with your friends here, and don't think this isn't real. This could be your future for decades to come. Really great things can come out of this hackathon for you and your friends. And the worst case, you'll have friends for a lifetime and you'll never forget this great event. <laughs> so also at the Space and Rocket Center, we're a NASA Visitor Center, we have the home of Space Camp. So we are training regular people from across the world. We've had a million graduates go through the Space Camp program from 175 countries. We have them come every year thanks to the State Department, their Race to Space competition. So if you have younger brothers and sisters in high school, please inform them that they can apply this December for the Race to Space competition to come and go through our program at Space Camp. Finally, what you are doing is very important to our future, and here's why. Because when he's the first man on Mars, and she's the first woman on Mars, the first thing they're going to do when they first step foot on Mars is turn to each other and say, what's the Wi-Fi password? <laughs> <laughs> you got to set up the Wi-Fi on Mars. It's great to be with you. See you later. <laughs> Our code that we write through that model to make sure that it works before we send it to Mars. This is again me in the, with Matthew over my shoulder. We like to take selfies together. Um, so this rover is a full-built rover. It drives around. It has science instruments. Um, so we always have to test our models. So when you're doing your app challenges, test, test, test. I can't emphasize that enough. They're not optional. So that's something you have to work with. Is what is my first impression going to be? How can I put myself most personally, most sincerely, most authentically to the I don't love talking in front of people. I am one of those people that I'd rather die than give public speaking. <laughs> um, but I grew out of that because I like to share what I do. I love working with students, so you have to kind of get over it and figure out what works for you. Imagine this is the Apollo 3, which is made by you. I was a developer, uh, Idris. So, uh, like, what, why did we win? We understood each other. Like, uh, everybody was, uh, he said it, uh, the professor uh, Salah said it earlier, uh, autonomous. Because we work, you know, sometimes when you have 48 hours, or just 24 hours, I mean, you guys have just tomorrow, right? Tomorrow and the day after, and the day. Okay, so you need to function like machines. 
literally. So you don't have time to um, think about like, uh, like for instance, I'm with I'm, I'm with my teammate and I'm like suggesting something. And he's like, no, but that's like too girlish. Can you choose something else? And I'll be like, yeah, sure, boom. And I'm looking all, already on someone else, on something else. I'm not gonna talk about that. on an insurance app, uh, which is, uh, the aim is to uh, make predictions about uh, the amount of money that an insurance will pay and how many people they can insure and uh, what a lot of other features. Uh, we're working also on uh, farm. Hello everyone, so um, as we programmer would say, hello world. So uh, to, we're going to start off our presentation with our team. So every, every member of the team is right here with our appropriate roles. So we are Team UT, for, as in united together, working for the better. So the problem we are trying to solve today is that NASA has an abundant amount of data. And this data needs to be displayed, but displayed to everyone. We try to make a project in which this data would be uh, accessible through citizen science to people all around the world. Make it very simple, concise, and fun to use so people can go back and go further with this data. So, uh, we will, uh, for this project, we will uh, use two challenges. Uh, the first one is one up for NASA, and the second one is show the world the data. So, the main theme is uh, living in our world. The first one is a video game called One Up for NASA Earth. And the second one is a data displaying website called Show the World the Data. And they are both linked in a way that the first one will lead to the second one. We'll see why. So, the game, the first one, Infinity. You know, usually when you go on a website where data is displayed, it's boring, very complicated, it's very techy scientifically. And people usually don't go there for fun. They go there only if they have a research to do. So we're, we were like, why not create a video game? 700 million people worldwide play online games regularly. And among those people, um, we have more uh, than 3.2 billion people connected worldwide inter in the internet. So why not create a web game? And by using in this web game, we would use the uh, data that uh, NASA has provided us. So, this is the greeting screen of our game. Um, we are greeted with this screen. We just click on start game, and we want, we want it to start our game big, with a bang, literally with a big bang. 
So this is the Big Bang we can see right here. <laughs> and the purpose of the game would be to follow us through the creation of the universe with the Big Bang until the creation of Earth as we know it today. And we will make this in a fun and interactive way. We'll see why. Um, this is the first greeting screen, the first phase of our game. People will be able to play with atoms. They will be guided through with a lot of uh, um, not notifications, missions. They could get success awards. And by com uh, combining uh, atoms, they could create uh, here. There's a drag and drop ex example. And by um, by combining the these atoms, they can create elements. And once they create enough elements, they go to the second stage which is the creation of the solar system. Now, this project is still in development, but the idea, we have made many, many ideas for it. Mm -hmm. So the game could even t be taken to VR or Kinect. Now, the second part, now that we have a trade our audience, why not make them go further and go see the actual data and in a user-friendly way in a website? So we decided to use NASA WorldWind uh, API. So sh the second challenge was is show the world the data. Now, when you think data, you think algorithms, physics, something very complicated. Well, no, our website is very, very easy to access. You have a nice loading screen, fun for the kids, fun for the elderly, for everybody, and then you have a little globe. You can spin it, play with it, control it very easily, and then uh, you have your little menu here, menu. You have, it's uh, where we'll uh, be putting our legends. Click on it, legends will be displaying if we put a map filter on it. And then we can just apply our map filters. Now, it's very important to know that all our maps that we're going to be displaying here are coming from the NASA Earth Observatory. All of them, all categories. And uh, so, thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I guess it, uh, it was a nuit blanche for many of you, I, I hear. So I, uh, uh, you know, I, I com commend you on that. Can you, uh, can everybody hear me uh, in the back? Yeah. Uh, so, let me just say, I, I give a lot of speeches, um, but, uh, you know, and I, and I like to think of myself as a pretty smart guy, but I'm surrounded by actual rocket scientists. <laughs> Uh, which uh, in the uh, you know in the U.S. Uh, lingo is uh, short for uh, the smartest people in the room. Uh, so uh, I hope you'll uh, bear with me because uh, I'm not a scientist. I'm not a coder. I'm not a designer of uh, software or any uh, mechanical tools. But um, uh, it still it is a, it is a great honor and a great privilege for me to to be with you today. <laughs> Challenge, and we are. And guess what? We're not sleeping tonight. You know why? We even can a video game and it's awesome. We're tired, but we're going to do it. Fighting!